हेलो हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द फेज डायग्राम ऑफ सिंक्रोनस जेनरेटर और अल्टरनेटर व्हेन इट इज सप्लाइंग लोड इन लैगिंग पावर फैक्टर सो इन दिस लेक्चर what we learn we learn about synchronous generator when it is supplying the load in leading power factor so when synchronous generator supplying leading power factor i will be like that i will uh, lead the voltage so i leads the voltage means phi will be positive so as i have told you that e and i q always in phase as the load current is leading in nature so id will be like that id so that will be load current ia okay so that is induced emf and always remember that in alternator ea e leads the voltage by load angle del so v will be like that is it fine so this is my v and this angle is load angle del this is v so this will be id is here so this will be minus id xd this will be so you can you can draw it easily if you write the kvl equation of alternator so let's write the kvl equation of alternator so e is v plus g of i q x q plus j of sorry x q i d x d okay so what will be v v will be just e minus j of x q i q minus j of x d i d so from here we can say e and this is minus j of x q i q you can determine e determine another way but if you write down the kvl equation of alternator then you can draw the phase diagram easily so that's why i just write down the kvl equation of the alternator so this is minus j of sorry x d id and that will be minus j of 
एक्स क्यू आई क्यू इज इट फाइन सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन से दैट द वोल्ट एंगल बिटवीन आई ए लोड करेंट एंड द ई एम एफ इंड्यूस्ड ई एम एफ इज साई एंड दिस एंगल इज लोड एंगल एंड पावर फैक्टर एंगल इज फाइव वोल्टेज एंड लोड लोड करेंट फाइव सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन से that phi is phi is is equal to psi psi is nothing but internal power factor angle remember it psi is internal power factor angle and del is load angle and phi is load power factor angle phi phi is load power factor angle and psi is internal power factor angle del is load angle and from here from here we can determine the value of induced emf by just seeing here see this is a this is b so this angle is del so what will be the length of total length of this line it will be b cos del because this is del this is b so it will be b cos del this total length will be b cos del b cos del and this length is sorry this total length is b cos del and this length this length is i dx d so from here we can say that e is equal to e is b minus sorry e is b cos del plus b cos del minus i dx t just simple if you observe it then you will get the answer this total length is b cos del this total length and this length is i dx i d x d sorry i d x d so we need this length this length is induced emf so this length will be v cos del total length minus i dx t is it fine so the final answer e is equal to v cos del minus i dx t so from here one point you can write down for leading load in case of alternator or synchronous generator induced emf is less than terminal voltage this is not a normal con normal or general condition it's only happened when generator supplying the leading load is it fine so equation is e is equal to v cos del minus i dx t similarly you can remember tan del which is is equal to i a x q cos phi v minus i a x q sin phi it's very easy to remember in what happened or in case of lagging load the formula was just i a x q cos phi by v plus i a x q sin phi but in case of leading power factor 
just plus became minus nothing is changed over here just everything is same just sign is changed in place of plus here only minus is came so is it fine so these actually necessary when you will go for problem solving we can cannot uh, derive each and everything during problem solving because it will be uh, time taking that's why you need to remember these formulas only these formulas you can easily handle these things but you cannot determine these thing at the time of problem solving because it will take 1 to 2 minutes is it okay guys so in next next lecture what we'll do we'll do some problem based on this theory is it okay so bye if you like or if you think that the video or the lecture is helpful for you then please like and subscribe our channel thank you